continuing our exploration of Coleman Cow. We are exploring the bottom of it. And we just returned to do a long rest. Let me deposit some gear. Then we have to do our fancy meal. We have to have a speech. And then we're going to go back into dungeon delving. This lady can carry 972 pounds. That's a uh, that's a lot of horseradish. I think I recognize that. Belongs to a bard, most appropriately. Although I've never understood entirely what deafening does in this game. Oh, and there's the plate armor plus two I picked up. What is that? I need to identify that. We'll see if the fighter likes it. So I think my wizard has Warcaster, a class feat, and that class feat allows her to hold a shield. I'm going to look at that and see if that's actually the case or not right now. Ooh, Tiamarian outfit. I think this is an automatic plus three, so... The question is... Will I remember to do mage armor every day? Or should I put on the Tamarian outfit? Resistance to necrotic damage. That could be valuable. Nice. So she cannot equip it. I have so much stuff to identify. One second, and I need one. I have a lot of things to identify. <clears throat> so I must be attuned to it. I'm not feeling like this is doing me much of any good right now. Tune to that. I feel like for the most part, I just need to remember to cast Mage Armor. Timarian Tim outfit will take care of me. Uh, but I don't want to waste the attunement slot. So many devices to, to identify.
5d6 is very respectable. I still don't understand what deafened does. Uh... So that's nice. I can alternate these two for her. And I suppose she could probably carry that wand of lightning bolts. What is she attuned to? Doesn't really need a headband of intellect, though it's nice when I'm trying to craft items. What? She has space for stuff, huh? Still more stuff to upload, and it's 11 in the morning. <laughs> My guys are just kicking around camp. Didn't even check the contents of those chests. That's ridiculous. That was a tough fight, though. Point blank with a bunch of white lords. I'll never get the pronunciation exactly right. Well, let's go ahead and identify it. Plus two is has a similar AC as studded leather armor plus one, but has the benefit of not having metal. Studded leather plus two, that's even better. I feel like she's always picking the, it's her face getting punched in all the time. So I should give her the studded leather armor plus two. All right, let's have a speech. We just looted this place. This is an important area where we 
confronted some important that. villains. Nineteen hit points is quite a bit. So we step into what I think is the last room of this dungeon. Unless, unless there is still more. Your party hears a vast voice. What footfalls are these? magic circle. The huge voice continues. Have you come as supplicants to the eternal worm? You have failed to bring a sacrifice. You will do just fine. Holy Matrix. A lot of loot here. Pretty good money. Can I go to the next layer? Grayed out. Unholy Matrix. There was a disabled button there. Plenty of loot. But I think we should start with this button. door to the chamber slams shut. A horrible dragon is gaining form directly south of the magic circle. Back away towards the north before it can use its breath attack. Beware the materializing spiders. Well, we could back away. Or we could charge. It's A, B, C. Always be charging. <clears throat> if you're in their face, they'll still use AOE, but it's harder to hit you because you're in their face. I mean, because they'll only hit one of you. They won't hit, like, you know, all of you at once. I'm assuming the dragon's forming right here. Okay, you can run backwards. Where are we? You all got your assignments. You're a wizard. Go backwards. What are you doing? Come to party. Undead dragon. Warlord Kirarko. He's here. Oh, Phantom Warriors. Those guys have given me trouble. Those guys mess me up. Oh shit, they're right there next to my wizards. It's 
spectral spiders join the fray. Shit, I should have done my meal of champions because they just had to endure fear. Fear checks, I think. Or they will soon from the dragon. Okay, interesting. There's three men right there. And rather than deafen them, what if I terrified them? Where's those flutes? Oh, uh, well, at least one failed. I don't know where I'm safer. I think Dragon Breath just goes right through walls anyway. Wow. That is quite a dent on the health bar. I trained hard, yes. Oh, they're vulnerable to the Radiant Light. Even better. 72 points of damage. Incredible. Dragon is taking Not it bad. on the chin. Oh. Ooh. 82 points of damage. This hold monster ever worked when I needed it to. Not often. Oh my god. Those guys are just butchering my wizards. Gotta fuck them up. Gotcha. Gotcha. You get the fear. Concentration. Oh, he must have made his save. No. Just didn't roll great on my dice. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good roll. Only two were twos. No ones. You've endured worse. You and your advice, man. I thought I was close enough. I did not read that right. Nice. <laughs> oh, you killed him. down three foes down two foes down
she's out for you. Ninety-two. Oh, when you get those criticals, it's just insane. Palpable hit. You fiend! Excellent, excellent outcome. My party's become very powerful. Right now, we're steamrolling people. It was during, like, levels where my characters were around level 4 through, like, 9, where I would come into matchups where I didn't have a clear advantage. Right now, I have a pretty good advantage. You'll die like the rest. That man. That man can dodge. Oh, so I still have fear going on with that dude down there. I even forgot about him. Your spell over. Perhaps. Dude, that guy can put out the DPS, especially when he gets his um, that <laughs> bonus fighter action, action surge, or whatever you call it.
Definitely gonna make a note to mention that magic stick might be overpowered. I don't think it's supposed to automatically cause people to be slow. I think it's supposed to cause people to be prone. And yet one enemy lives struck with fear. Dwarven Warhammer with some sort of psychic effect and it flicks blinded. Love to see it. The dragon's horde. Crystal of Winter. Start crafting some things with that. Potentially. Wand of Winter comes to mind. I would love to find Swamp Opal. I think you can make Balls of Lightning with rough blue diamonds. <clears throat> but I would like to find a Swamp Opal and a Medusa Coral. Magnificent crossbow inflicts a sleep, save each turn to cancel. That sounds pretty. Oh, we found the holy artifact. I'm very glad that gold doesn't weigh anything. It's funny to think about the real problem of trying to haul out like 10,000 gold pieces. door open? Do I have to use this button? See how well I heal.
Thanks. I would describe that as a really good healing stage. Let's uh, have a speech session. My inspiring leader. This is way better than any Zig Ziglar. Outstanding. So that was an exciting climactic battle here. Um, what is this map even called? <laughs> oh, there's some gold left unclaimed. This one. Ella Rain has let it known she wishes to speak to us at Annie's cabin. I think technically we're supposed to speak to the scout on our way out. We still need to access this underground site. That scout would tell us to talk to Annie, or to speak to Ella Rain. Let us brave the unknown. They must have some really tall ladders, and they use them very often to replace these candles. Could you imagine having to replace the candles in that chandelier? Unholy Matrix. Identify the forces responsible. The alienness of these caves goes beyond the capacity of the necromancers. We must identify the forces at play in the Unholy Matrix. A what? Hello. Avatar of C. Not my favorite. We like you. We like you much more than the ones who contacted us. You have been chosen. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. Blessed are the chosen. My characters are cussing. Just saying, like, fuck, <laughs> I don't want to be chosen. Let's drop some weight. Magnificent breastplate. Why do I have this? Wait. Yes. I'll have to identify that later. What happened to that breastplate? Oh, it's red. I didn't recognize it. Of course you've been detected. Breastplate plus three. Seems awfully high.
21. Tw still 21? Man. It's that dex bonus. Sick. Little distortion of reality. We'll come back for that. Figure out if that's ideal for someone else later. I hear that laughter. <laughs> this place has harvester energy, I would say. That's, I suppose, back there. No. Back there? Apocryphal holy site? That's where we were. We were in what is called now Apocryphal holy site. Desolation. Avatar of Zarathar. I've been using the scepter of Zarath. Hopefully, he doesn't want it back. You have chosen the path of desolation. You have chosen wisely. The abandonment of self will be your conduit to me. As you die, my larger manifestation will enter this reality. Go forth and die. Hmm. Go forth and die? F you, buddy. <laughs> Come here and kick over your soda can, piss in your salad bowl. Avatar of Thang. We must destroy these so called gods and their manifestations on this plane. The necromancers have sought power far greater than they can manage. We must destroy these entities before they can fully materialize beginning with the first blasphemy which which is what sewing without a license the key to this door is on a man visiting the foothills of the dan mountains as we speak i was just about to say so you spell it with two n's but then at the title it said you spelled it with two a's so to get into this door, I have to go back to the foothills of the Dan Mountains. I don't think I can teleport everyone in. In order... Like, I could use, like, Misty Step or Dimension Gate, Dimension Door. But I wouldn't be able to get everyone.
the path of desolation. doesn't really branch or split off. Before I go in this gated this gated door I'm gonna go back to the beginning and try the other branch that was there. This gated door. We've received word that necro forces are again investigating parts of the Dan foothills. Find and slay these forces and gather any information they may have. But mostly this was information, this quest was given to me by that spirit there. Told me necro forces were there and they go mess with them. Path of isolation. The Avatar of Thang. Again. The key to this door belongs to a man named Beast Monster. Whoa, he's gone. Well, bully for you, Beast Monster's dead. And I happen to know who has this key. Hint, hint. Okay, what are you doing? Dang. A little nice little stash of stuff. No Lily of the Badland, but pretty good.
beast monster's lair. Let there be light. We didn't need a long rest, but maybe we could just long rest here. Um, depending, I mean, we haven't had any encounters down here. But they said go forth and die. And there seems to be all sorts of monstrous growl sounds around. Maybe a long rest would be a good idea. These things. Oh well. At least they're worth money. A bit of light won't hurt. Okay. Just so everyone can feel safer. Let's we'll close all the doors. I guess I will loot all. So this is a path of isolation, huh? Path of beast monster. Yes, that's the first time she's ever been able to craft anything. I'm proud of her. Lily. Lila. 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 Okay, I'm going to pronounce all their names. Baroness Gaga, that's easy. Lila Sansis. Mary Sue. Kalydra Ohaya. Ohaya? 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 Winsdy Howler? And they're going to be a Windigo named Winsdy. Seems like you should howl like the wind. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Vora, who happens to like Vor very much, is a battle cleric, of course. I honestly don't know what Vor is. I just know it has something to do with violence in comics. These guys seem really loud all of a sudden. And also, let's check our arrow situation. Then I have all my characters that make poisonous arrows. Don't use them. Corrosive arrows.
What is going on? Where is that weird ass weird hammer? There it is. The hammer of Phantom Awe. Phantom Awe. The hammer of Phantom Awe. Phantom Awe. With an H? I will show them how it feels to be a tree in man's world. This is the phantom eye I was thinking of. From the golden age of comic books before... It did, It does predate censors, but I don't think it really was the subject matter of censors. Um, although a woman running around in her lingerie probably raised some questions. But um, I love this blonde vision of terror, the skull face. Anyway, Phantoma. So what does that hammer do? Inflicts blinded and plus three psychic damage plus two to hit. Doesn't throw down nearly as many dice as like the Mace of Annihilation. So probably going unused for now. She is overweight. How much do these weigh? What is it going to take? All that laughter it must be really funny. Two hag face keys. Okay, I'm underweight now, so perfectly sufficient to do a long rest. But also, how far away are we on our levels? We're so close. I have to take a sip of soda. See, I hear these monsters. And I'm thinking... We're so close to a level wrap before we do a long rest. At the very least, I know that Someone has called us to return to the foothills of the Dan Mountains. Okay, we, we returned to where we just were. so tidy I have to go back and close this door come here can you not close this door maybe you're too short I guess not Avatar of Finzar. Remember, we found the tenets of Finzar, and then we slew some sort of acolyte of Finzar. The tenets of Finzar were unintelligible, except for a couple of pages dedicated to a mind control device. And that was the only part of the book that could be understood.
You have chosen the path of isolation. Nice choice. Only through the total destruction of all others can we achieve the solipsistic paradise we deserve. You will gleefully grovel at my feet as lesser manifestations of my will. Having no self to resist, rejoice, your time draws near. Yay. Thalpistic. Thalpistic. Is that how you spell that? Why would I double check such a thing live on the internet? Yeah, I thought there was an I. Thalpistic. They don't think about other people at all. But by the way, there's an I after the first L. And there is not an O, even though it seems like it would be solo because it's all about the self, your solo. That makes sense to me. But there should be an I there. Well, that's not creepy. This little viewing area for three bodies hanging by spider webs. This is quite different. And of course, all of my magic users have sparkle, so I could just like go do this with sparkle. But I just have to fly. I thought you had a flaming item.
forget, does this character have dark vision? Do they not have dark vision on a fairy? They do. It's the first thing they have. Okay. Consumed, just like your soul. Ha 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 ha. Screaming hallway. Avatar of Finzar. Avatar of Tang. Avatar of Zarathar. Avatar of Sea. Certain death. The world is ready for the next era. Don't you fucking step on that teleporter. You are the chosen ones. Transcend your mortality and bind this world to heaven. The necromancers were fools to think they would be ready. Step into the next room and begin the ascension. The world is ready for the next era. The way of joining is ahead. You will become one with us and this world will ascend. The necromancers who call us do not impress us, you do. The way of joining is ahead. You are perfect just as we created you. You will carry our light into this universe. Your world is dark, covered in mystery. We will end that. Okay. I'm on team don't go into that room, labeled certain death. And get 993 experience points first. Level up. And then we'll go into that room. With that door there and the teleporter. I think talking to that guy means we are stuck in that room. So we'll be back. Someone light it, come on. Boo. Where are you going? Hold up. So I guess that's on the this side of the wall. Okay.
What is this room? Storage room. It actually had a label. I was like, what is this room? And it popped right up. Ooh, yes, dust of disappearance. I want to make a, a better job, do a better job of remembering where that is and using it when I need it. Because it's a, you know, an affordable make everybody invisible. Or it uses the item. I don't know about affordable. It doesn't use a spell slot when I need to keep spell slots of a high end around. A hall of shadows leads to the storage room. How ominous. We'll have to go back this way. We've pretty much found all the nook and crannies of the path of isolation. At least at this dead end. There's still this route. Which may have a relationship to this path of desolation. They're kind of in the same area. Geographically, okay. Which of these did I still need to loot? Yes, the one that was in the wall. Oh, well. Pretty low DC check, a 10. This door is not even closed. This looks like where these would join potentially. Let's go ahead and see if the, the two trails join together. So it looks like there's one route that goes this way and another route that goes this way. They either way join right here just around this circle. I 
Hey, there's some loot. Pressure plate. Oops. Well, that's ferocious sounding. It wasn't even locked. If I had a monk, that would be really nice. I don't, but that would have been uh, a good pickup for a monk in particular. Hard to imagine that's better than the magic stick. Beautiful pendant. I think that's like a plus one to a variety of like saving throws. And is it two ability checks? If it's two ability checks, that might be more valuable. Ooh, a belt of dwarven kind. And I think that is dwarven plate mail, which is maybe the best plate mail. Okay. Let's go explore this area. Dang it, girls. Line up here. Pressure plates and jail cells over here. Let's just go check out what's going on over here first. Doesn't look like anything in particular. Alien Squalor. All right, who's going to step on the platform? So we already did three of them. 
There's four. Oh. Well, that's bad. Okay, assassin, assassin, assassin. Let's take out these guys first. So he sort of, he made his save. Ah, oh, you're shielded. You'll die like the rest. But you're frightened. Ouch. My wizard in particular I think is vulnerable. Ouch. Them attacking my fighter is the best thing possible. I mean, her high AC, they might be invisible, but they're not going to readily overcome her AC of whatever. Where am I? I'm one of the few people not in base-to-base -base contact with these things. Yeah, I don't want to hurt my own friend. But I wonder if I can make them f fear. And she is pretty resilient. She has stupid high stats, so she can probably take a Pipes of Haunting Blast to her face and be okay. Oh, yeah, she succeeded. They all failed. No, they all succeeded. Dang it. They all succeeded. And it was just with like a plus four. Okay, they had above average rolls, so none of them even got a ten. Should I fly after him? Battle in the sky. No. No quarter given. Sucker. Is he stunned? He is. Excellent. You're stunned too now. Go to hell. Yeah, I think it used to only hurt, like in a prior edition, this would only hurt all the enemies around you. But then in a more recent edition, it hurts everything around you. Which is too bad. I mean, it totally makes sense, of course. Of course, of course. Say, have you heard about the horse? Keeps making his save. You like that? She's a ninja. Do her right in the middle there. She's taken though quite a lot of hit point damage, fifty four. Plus whatever temporary she might have had. Oh. 
success. Definitely starting to take some damage. And so he succeeded, though, on his intelligent saving throw. So he's not stunned, unfortunately. You are a valued comrade. Son of a bitch. Didn't get me. Next time, next turn. Oh, he made his wisdom save with a plus six. That's too bad. Maybe your friend won't be so lucky. He wasn't. She's the butcher. He's frightened and he's paralyzed. Hit him hard. 45 radiant. He's on the ground. Let's run up to him. Ouch. I didn't realize I'd be running by something. Oh, and I thought I had that fancy dagger. I do not. Instead, I have a staff I'll try to hit him with. So of course he failed the, on that one, but he succeeded on that one, but he's still slowed. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. You know, I didn't think he'd heal. I thought I would go up there and just stab him. That's 
So he blocked me though. Countered it, but she thought it was the light. The light didn't count, lady. But this guy hates light, so. See that guy there. Oh, come on. Die. Die. This guy's paralyzed, this guy's stunned, this guy's sterilized, paralyzed and stunned. Happened to Baroness? Is she frozen or something? I don't know what happened there. This lady has that high powered shielded. Bah. Shields won't help you from that sort of AoE. Let's get in here to help cope with these guys. Get rid of them. Oh my gosh, I forgot. My poor wizard. Kill these people. I think I noticed that I'm not wearing that magic ring. Dope. They still cling to life. Should have known it was going to come down to this. Don't use the last charge on those things. You want to preserve the last charge because it risks destroying. That. Ah. Hey, ha. that was mine. 
No, all of these were hers. They were always all of hers. Not bad, eh? Another miss. She won her little wizard's duel against two of them. Of course, they were already injured when they ran off into that area. Oh, I thought I'd get to stab him when he ran away. Oh, sweet. That gave me the 2,000 experience, uh, 2,600 experience, 2,000. Okay. I only needed 900 something experience, and I got almost 3,000. So I'm going to long rest. We're going to wrap up this episode. In fact, I'll go to the, the room where we can rest, wrap up this episode. And then next episode, we will level up and accept that invitation into that weird room. The room that was labeled Certain Death. down here she's already used hers Scribes Chambers. Map of Eddie's. Slaver's Ledger. An encrypted ledger book. It doesn't resemble the first Necro Kingdom cipher set. Map of Eddies. This map charts a difficult passage through tumultuous waters. The destination appears to be an otherwise impossible to reach island labeled Adiz.
Okay, I'm going to save. We'll wrap up this episode.